Ah, oh, I love it. I freaking love it. Feels amazing. Absolutely amazing that we got through that. Right, there's a lot of luck. Even with my master tactician skills, like planning out the fight and everything like that, we still barely won that. Could have gone a lot smoother if I'd been using my Heart Seeker and my bow, but I just didn't want to play around with the chance of. Because it lowers my chance to hit. And the problem is, you know. When we're struggling to even get hit half of the time at the moment. Um, I don't no, want no. to make it even harder, you know, on myself. But, yeah, it's absolutely nuts. We also need to gather from this chest. I think we have to search it again. Um, right, Mr. Wizard, uh, you can cast spell because we want to light up this area. Of course. Um, actually, no, I'm going to have you move over here. No. I'll move there. Fine. That works too. Sure. Ah. Come on, Mr. Wizard. Hurry up. Big D. Uh, run over here, buddy. Loot that chest. Okay, Mr. Wizard. Uh, cast spell. So we want to light up all these. Okay. Wow, we didn't even light up that one. Even though I did actually cast a spell over there. But okay. Because um, that's what started the fight, you know? Arcana Encho. See ya. The reason why I'm lighting this all up, because we are coming back here at some point later for a quest. So just being able to uh, do that would be great. Not to see in this area. Uh, right. <sighs> Woo! Would you look at this? A crown of some kind? They seem to keep their distance from it. Maybe it's cursed. Look what I found. Let me take a look. Ooh. Nice. Looks like ancient Tamarian. If you find it, send for... This appears to be a name. That has to be a Sorak name. They were protecting <sighs> us. It must be of great value to them. Okay, we're going to have a uh, big D take the crown. Take it then. Sure. Definitely. Yes, I understand. Who are you talking to? Wait, what are you doing? Are you crazy? Why did you put it on? We have no idea what it does. Whether it's evil or anything. What? I... I... It, I just kind of... Uh, had to. We're supposed to share the loot, by the way. Perhaps we should rest but, before we head back. I mean, how do you I share a crowd? Before the owner you know? of that unpronounceable name shows his ugly face. The mission is done, after all. Is it? Did someone cut off a Sorak's head? All right, then. I'll do it. The sooner we go, the sooner we can get back to Ker yeah. Kiflin. Not the Barbarian. The Barbarian's not the one who cuts off the head. The wizard cuts off the head, you know? I mean, uh, what's he even cutting the head off with? Because he doesn't have a dagger on him. You know? Alright, we're going to go over here. We'll actually sort out our loot, actually. Uh, we're going to drop all this crap. Because it's money. Um, if it's no good to us, it's no good to us. I'm going to make sure we always see all the symbols on the uh, items. Sorakath letter. Scroll levitate. Well, that can go on the wizard. Uh, comprehend languages. Uh, scroll of Raven Feeblement. Goes to the wizard. Uh, I can't use it. Nobody can use it. Not yet, anyway. Um, 
Yeah, we'll drop it. Gold bracelet, that's a valuable item if I remember correctly. It is, you can sell to a shop, yeah. Um, silver chalice, valuable item. Druid leather armor, goodbye to that as well. Primed warhammer, nobody's using a warhammer, we don't have a paladin. Primed battle axe, it's nice and all. Uh, Magnificent Greatsword is a magical item. We're going to identify that before we do anything with that. Uh, just so we have the item identified for the future. Uh, that is actually a really nice Greatsword. We can put some really nice enchantments on that. Uh, but, I don't know. I, I like having the two-handed option with Lil D. Actually, you know what? I might actually switch it up. Because the having the Halberd is nice. For hitting far away. You know, I can attack an enemy without being in range of them. And I can attack enemies who try to run away or get to my allies. But I may actually take the great sword as well. And upgrade it in the future. Uh, potentially, or use it in the future. Because eventually I will be taking a multi-class so I can get more movement, of course. Because, uh, um, yeah, we need the movement. Workers, letter, and all that stuff. Uh, scroll to set magic, we don't need it. I uh, don't need this hide armor. don't need this javelin. All these darts. All this short sword. All this short sword. All this scimitar. Um, leather. Yeah, we don't need it. I don't know what we're doing. don't even know why I had to think about that one. Uh, spell focus divine. No good. Spell focus divine. Arcane, whatever. Uh, standard dagger. Uh... We will get a lot of money from this from the scavengers. That's why I'm doing this. Because they pay more than the shops do. If you're wondering why the hell I'm doing all this. They actually do. Uh, it's weird. The only, the only thing is you have to wait several days. That's the only downside. I'm going to keep this prime chainmail I think. For when I get heavy armor. Um, on my uh, barbarian. So I will be getting heavy armor eventually with a feat. Um, this is a few other things I want to go for first. Um, that's for sure. That'll do nicely. Um, just want to see invisibility. Yeah, we'll give that to Fana. Okay, let's have a look. Alright, tragic love letter. Um, if you wish to pause and read this, feel free. It's just for those of you who want the lore. Um... You're free to pause it and check out everything it says. Um, same with this one. Okay, moving on. Uh, Sorokath letter. There's some in the old side. If you find it, send it some for to shop. Protect it with your lives. Okay. And then it doesn't actually have any use. See, some of these documents were actually uh, reputation items, but we took out the uh, faction, which is why... Um, what do you call it? Which is why um, a bunch of this stuff, is, it just seems useless and worthless. Because as you can see, these ones, uh, documents are actually faction. This is supposed to be faction, but they're not. Um, that's why it seems so useless. Uh, get rid of the dagger. Right, uh, arrows go to her. Bolts go to him. Uh, scroll camper and sell it. Keep the ingredients for crafting. Yeah. Okay, right. We'll take our long rest because we really need one, of course, after that fight. Uh, oh, snap. We don't have enough food for a long rest. Oh, no, I didn't save a spell slot for D, did I? For Goodberry. I didn't. Did I drop some food? <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I dropped some food somewhere. And one of these piles. Yeah, we did. Okay. Take it. There we go. Now let's take a long rest. <laughs> Imagine I'd gone back with no resources and got ambushed or something. Ah. Oh. 
Feels good that we got through all that. Alright, we're switching up our spells. I don't understand why I have Wrathful Smite here. I shouldn't. But I think I just forgot to sort out my spells. Definitely going to keep these. Long Strider is nice, but not going to keep that. Um, I think, honestly... Um, Chromatic Orb on the Druid, of course, for the Diamonds. Uh, spells, as for you, what can we do? Dark Vision. Um, actually, get rid of Fairy Fire. Yep. Uh, go to Radiant Melts, actually. Right. Flaming Sphere, definitely going for it. We need it. It's going to be huge and very useful. And uh, Furry Fire, goodbye. Grab Moonbeam, so nice. Big damage. Spike Growth, get rid of Entangle for Spike Growth. Um, definitely great. There we go. I like that a lot better. As for the Wizard, uh... Definitely keep shield. Get rid of mage armor for flaming sphere. Validate. Boom. Okay. Right. We are free and good to go, which is nice. Uh, now we can actually leave this place. Uh, we missed a chest here, apparently. Yes, we did. Anybody anywhere else? Other than the places I already know about because I didn't have fly yet. Nope. Okay, I'll tell you what, we'll fast travel to here. So we fast travel to here, and then we go to here. There we go, that's much faster. Instead of us having to do the long walk, you know? Um, this has been intense. I'm definitely doing a bit of grinding. Definitely doing a bit of grinding. Uh, so just involve me running back and forth because I want to catch up to basically where I was at near enough. Um, but we'll get to the next area first before we start doing the grinding. Because that way we have longer to travel which means I can get fights in more frequently and more XP along the journey. And we'll be able to get better fights in of course. Um, but yeah, we will definitely do that. Thieves tools. Okay, that was a waste of time. Wilma. Uh, drop the shot. No, keep the shot. What am I do? Get rid of the hide armor. Yep. Okay, 17. Oh, I can't wield it. Can't wield hide armor? What? Oh, it's medium. <laughs> I'm so stupid sometimes. I really am. Okay. Let's leave. Excavation site. Yes. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go. Hell yeah. Right. Yes, leave the current area. Let's proceed. Okay, um, I'm going to go fast so we can get back quicker. Troubled Knight, our heroes take a well-deserved rest, but the mood is somber. They are indeed. Are you feeling poorly? You seem a bit pasty-faced. I don't feel too good. I knew that old crown was cursed. You don't know that. Just get rid of it. No, no. We need it. Need it? For what? For its power. I can feel it deep inside. Are you okay? I just need to rest for a bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling too good either. I'm exhausted as well. Maybe the curse has affected us all. Stop it. Don't be ridiculous. I propose we set up camp and get some rest. Can we already set up camp? You know the campfire and all that? <laughs> you know? Oh, wow. Okay. Immediately into a fight. 
Um, interesting. Interesting. Um, okay, got you three over there. Um, Loma. And over here. Cunning action actually hide. Now will my move over here. This person's on their own, so if I can kill them, then I can use that as my hidey place. Sadly did not get the kill though. We are still stealthed at least. Uh, likewise, we'll follow suit with the wizard. Uh, we'll cast a magic missile, guarantee the damage, no playing around. Pop, pop. Actually, you don't need to use a level 2. What am I doing? Don't need to lose a level two at all. They're dead. Arcana, Evo, Malmis. Yeah! Death claim. Oh yeah. End turn. Right. We're gonna have you go. Uh, evil priest. The bandit captain's the biggest threat. And they're over there. Right. We're going to rage with Big D. We're going to take a shot with Big D. Try and eliminate the weaker ones first. Bleed. Nice crit. Let's go. Bleed indeed. And we're going to go over here. I'm going to cast Spell. And I'm dropping a Moonbeam oh, I need to step forward again another five feet uh, Moonbeam try that again all three of them Natura let's go that's great Evo Malmis. That's some good damage recurring each turn uh, then we will use our power to vanish so they don't destroy my concentration and then turn. Okay, Wilma, you can uh, eliminate. Is this guy on his own? He is on his own. Good, that means we can use that to our advantage and stay hidden a lot easier by being far away from the enemy. Of course, we missed. And unfortunately, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. We'll have you move up. And you can cast spell, and uh, you can level two magic missile him. Arcana Evo Malmis. Get some good damage. He's got seven HP left. That's nice. Ow! Very good. Thirteen damage to the captain right off the rip. Right. Uh, take a swing on the captain. Unfortunately, we missed. But it is what it is. They take some damage next. Oh, we actually killed one of them. Damn. The uh, moonbeam killed it. Okay. Um, even if I want to. Yeah, I can move that there. Yeah. Then we'll wild shape into a brown bear. And try and run if we can. Hope we don't destroy my concentration. Deal with it. We didn't, good stuff. Okay. Keep taking that moonbeam damage every round. That's what we want. Don't run closer. Oh, she didn't get a sensitive. Okay, good, good. Take a shot. Kill him, please. Let's go. Very nice. Okay. Now we just have her hang back. Um, here. Let's stay invisible if we can. Uh, right. Fanner is up. End turn. Fanner, move over here. You can cast spell. We'll go flaming sphere. Um, on top of these two. 
Arcana Evo Viribe. Aha. Um, we'll run the flaming sphere into the uh, standard bandit first. Take some health off them. Seven points of damage, and hopefully the moonbeam might finish them off. Okay, six radiant damage on the captain. You're still in the fight, nice. my friend. Uh, we'll just go for you. Wow, gotta love it. Missed. Good stuff. Okay, moonbeam. Chase the captain around. Boom. And, uh, and turn. I don't know where the evil priest is, but they're out of range. This person is not, however, I think. Yeah, so. Of course Let's you've been detected. Missed, though. And turn. Flame is fair. Ram into them. Good stuff. Then cast spell. And we'll go chromatic orb. Lightning damage. Arcana Malmis. Unfortunately we don't. Yay! Little D's in trouble. Hold firm. You can do it worse. Little D's in trouble. stuff uh you need to revert and you're going to heal as a level two spell uh oh no wait wait what oh it's cure wounds not healing word oh snap Moonbeam. No, 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 what am I doing? The Moonbeam right now needs to chase his captain. And turn. Not much I can do from there. Um, try and take her down if we can. And this is why I didn't want to play around with the uh, sharpshooter so much. So early. Um, right in the captain, ram him. We take damage, then cast spell. Uh, hopefully it hits this time. Again, lightning damage, please. Oh my. So annoying. Little D's down. Now I'm gonna run over to Big D. And they break my concentration. Hey, gotta love it. Okay. Cast spell, bonus action, healing word, level two, little D. Get him up. Cast spell. Uh... Actually, disengage. And turn. Wilma, please hit. We need it. Big damage. Well Let's go. And turn. Flaming sphere. Ram it into the captain. <sighs> we missed out on a potential. 80 points of damage so far because we missed a bunch of these. Arcana Evo Malmis. Oh, Finally! Okay, we'll have you run over there. And end turn. Oh, they missed, thank goodness. They're going to run over to little D. They're probably going to take him down again, but it is what it is. Oh, they got him. He's up. Let's go, little D. Reckless. I don't care, just hit. Well struck. Get some damage on them. Okay, good stuff. End turn. Right, little, uh, Big D, uh, you need to... You don't have a diamond on you, do you? No, you don't. 
Uh, we're going to... Oh, no, he's not in range. Let's try this again. You're going to do this. Okay, good stuff. And then... Bonus action, healing word, arm will be. Good stuff. End turn. Uh, Wilma, please finish them if we can. Of course you missed. Yay! End turn. Okay, Flaming Sphere. Ram it into the back of the captain. Kaboom! Oh. Love it. Big damage. And then... I guess we'll try that. A modest success. Of course, we get a low roll. Oh my gosh, throw these down again. Now the wizard's in trouble. Cast spell, healing word, little D. Natura evil curai. Line cast natural spell, please hit. Natura encho malmus. Finally! Oh my gosh. Just bad luck with these misses. Cutting action. Hide. Good stuff. Okay, let's move over here. They should be within range now. Please. Ah! Because they can heal themselves. Which are tough. Nice. So they can't. We get a good roll that time for once. Okay. Uh, you get over here, D. You're going to rage. So they can't reach her right now, but what we can do is we can run in and go. Next time. A miss! Yes, yes. We, we, we can just go in and miss. Okay. Natura encho malmis. And we can miss again. This is going so well. So great, you know. Okay. Wilma, come on, for the love of goodness sake. Kill them. Hit. Finally. Even oh. the dead could hear you. I don't care at this point if the dead can hear us. As long as they freaking die. Necro Malmis. I was missing every single time. 50 million times. No healing for you. Okay, run in. Uh, can I reach you from there? It's five, ten. No, I cannot. Take a shot. Ah, take that. Put my melee weapon, I guess. End turn. Cast spell. Kill her, please. Oh, she's out of range now, is she? Fine, I'll run in. Let's go. Please kill. Natura encho malmis. <laughs> <sighs> Damn it! You, you're absolutely taking the piss, game. You're taking the piss. You're winding me up. This is absolutely insane, but they're still freaking standing. Ow. Come on. Please. <gasps> Thank you for the love of everything. Ah, oh. don't even want to talk about it. Don't even want to talk about it. Don't know what. Uh, scroll is slow. Nice. It's a nice spell. The thing is, we're taking a long rest after this, isn't it? It's a good thing to. Because I was about to lose my shiz. Uh... 
Okay. Let's see, what shall I do? Uh, right. We need to do the set magic stuff, don't we? We do. Ritual, the set magic. Ten minutes. Ritual, identify. The magnificent greatsword. I just noticed we leveled up as well, that's great. Uh, I don't think we have anything else that could be identified, do we? No, we don't. Okay. Let's do our level up. Uh, let's not everybody be cautious. Just, uh, I'm gonna get over to the fireplace. Yes. Okay. Level up time. Okay, Druid just continues being a Druid like he does. Uh, we get a feat now, I think. Yes. Um, we are going to... We already have 20 wisdom, which is great. We're going to get dex up to 20. Because that is essentially our um, AC maxed. As much as we can get next. Okay, as for a feat... I want the bonus for concentration spells, of course. Um, let's see. I think it was... What spell? Potent Spellcaster. Plus concentration. Half a cantrip. No, elemental. I don't know. Warcaster, that's it. Advantage on checks to maintain concentration. Uh, basically means uh, whenever I get hit, there's a chance I will still keep my concentration, which is always glorious, of course, uh, being able to do so. Um, as for this right now, just flame poison spray, mana life steal. Having the ability to heal myself could be nice. Um, yeah, I'll go with mana life steal. Why not? Uh, that's nice as well. Acid Claws. But I'm going to go with Mana Lifesteal. Uh, Wilma. Okay, as for the Rogue, we've got to put one point into Wizard. Because the one thing we did was we went with the uh, Raven. Which means we don't have our normal thing we would have gotten um, if we went with like one of the better earlier cantrips of the Rogue. Because the Rogue... Um, without the mod, uh, that we currently have installed, um, there are other options we can take, and it was like, uh, there was a certain thing which basically allowed us to have, uh, certain spells. We don't have that option because we've gone with Raven instead, but we do want a point in Wizard, and the reason why is because it doesn't affect us overall that much. Um, we are still going to go to level 12 with a rogue, regardless. Um, we get our third shot for our raven at level 9. And this is going to give us some nice utility. The one thing that we really need is, um, the ability to essentially... Uh, make it harder for us to kill, which is obviously going to be very nice. Uh, I went with the minor life steal for the ability to basically steal some HP from the enemy if we ever need it. And we're in a tight situation. There's a 12 range. We have Shadow Dagger for longer range if we ever need it for whatever reason. An annoying bee, of course, for those pesky flying uh, creatures if we ever need it. But here's where the fun comes in. Um, we want shield, so basically we have a reaction now to use our shield to prevent ourselves from taking damage. On top of that, we get uncanny dodge and everything like that. It's just going to be huge and so useful. So we're definitely going with shield. Uh, chromatic orb could be nice if we was to use it, but I'm going to go more crowd control -y here. We'll go with hideous laughter, definitely, um... 
Uh, we're going to dash as a bomb searching for a limited time. We already pretty much have that already being a rogue. Magic missile. Always a guaranteed damage attack if we ever need it. So obviously I'm going to take it. Uh, Grease can be nice for tripping up the floor for the enemy, which can be a pain. Chomper, so it could be nice if we actually pull it off. We basically turn an ally, uh, an enemy into an ally, which is big. Uh, Mage armor uh, could be nice, don't get me wrong. Um, but I don't know. We'll go with Color Spray so we can blind our opponents. Definitely. And we will also... Logical armor to an ally doesn't wear armor. Um, I forget when we get... Darkness is second level, isn't it, for Rogue? Um, I want to get second level spells because I'm going to go Darkness. And there's a certain feat I want to take with a Rogue at some point. Um, and it'll make sense when I do. But right now it might not make that much sense. Uh, if I was to do Mage Armor, what is it? Base armor class is set to 13. Does that mean I get uh, the deck stack on top of that? I think so. We'll do that then. Okay, finish. Okay. Lil D, um, we have got our barbarian level up now, which is nice. We're going to go fighter. This is going to be able a uh, great dip for us here. Because only do we get second wind as a way to heal ourselves, which isn't a spell uh, when we're raging. We also get a fighting type. We're going for sentinel. Because when we grab sentinel, this is great. You have master techniques to take advantage of enemy drop in an enemy's guard. When you hit a creature with an opportunity attack, the creature's speed becomes zero. So you know when the enemy runs off from Lil D to try and get away or attack one of my allies, I can stop them from moving. The provoke opportunity attack, even if we disengage, so that means those annoying goblins and other creatures who have disengage action still can't get away from me with that. Of course, I have to hit, you know. Use your reaction to make a melee attack against creature when an attack makes a target uh, against a target other than you. So if they attack an ally, I can basically get a free attack on them, which is nice. That's going to be huge, because later we're going to take a feat which is going to give us Polearm Expert. When we take this feat, the expert training with a polearm grants you these benefits. When you take the attack action and attack with only a polearm, you can use a bonus action to make a melee attack with the opposite end of the weapon. This attack uses the same ability modifier as the primary attack and deals 1d4 bludgeoning damage. But, here's the kicker. Other creatures provoke an opportunity attack from you when they enter the reach you have with wielding a polearm weapon. So, I can stop an enemy from even getting to me into melee range or get to an ally with them just walking within 10 feet of me because of my long reach polearm weapon. So, these two together are a nasty combination, which is obviously huge. We already have our Totem with a bear, so we resist all damage besides Psychic, cutting that in half, plus a second win. It's going to be nasty. As for our wizard. We are going to stick with being just a wizard. Um, because I'm having fun with the undead stuff later on. When we get some more powerful undead stuff, we can have more fun with it. Because I like the thought of being a necromancer. You know? Uh, kind of like a necromancer guy. Uh, we'll top off our int, of course, and our dex. Um, it's going to be very nice. Uh, we will also, uh, let's have a wee little look, shall we? Play magic now. Precision focus, general adept, combat unarmored. Uh, we are going to go for our concentration magic. We want Warcaster. So we have the ability to maintain concentration, but as much as I do want that, Spell Sniper. You learn one cantrip that requires an attack roll. Choose a cantrip from the Bard, Cleric, Druid, Sorcerer, Warlock, or Wizard spell list. When you cast a spell that requires you to make an attack roll, the spell's range is doubled. Your ranged spells ignore half cover and three quarters cover. Basically, this gives me an insanely powerful cantrip if we go with the Warlock tree. 
I get Eldritch Blast. Where is it? Let's have a wee little look. Eldritch Blast, where is it? Where is it? Should be here. Oh, hang on. This is class cantrip. So my cantrip, I guess. Um, first. Uh, right. Okay. So we're going to go for... I think one of the main issues that we're having right now that's becoming a big problem is the enemy are trying to get to me. Um, and I have no opportunity to deal any damage when they're up close, of course. I need a spell that I can use which allows me to still attack the target despite them being next to me and not give me disadvantage. Now, there are many choices here. Shadow Dagger... There are seldom any enemies in the game that resist shadow damage. But Shocking Grasp allows us to potentially shock a target that's next to us in melee range and deal damage. And they cannot use a reaction, meaning I can shock them and run away with the wizard. Thus, its survival utility is just huge. I need it. Um, we're also going to take Eldritch Blast from the Warlock Tree. The stronger we get, the more powerful that spell gets, and it becomes one of the strongest cantrips in the whole entire history of D&D. Uh, for 5e. Uh, I don't know about other editions, but I know in 5e it's one of the most powerful. The more you level, the stronger it gets. Uh, not only that, I can, I can attack multiple targets as well, which is great. Right, now we are going to grab what spell? Let's see. Shatter can be so nice. Does a lot of damage. Old person can be huge as well. Acid arrow can be nice because it's 4d4, so potentially 16 damage on a level 2 spell slot. And it gives a recurring effect where they take 2d4 unless they succeed the effect. I mean, it's essentially 3 damage every turn. Um, however, I'm going to go with darkness. Yes. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not, actually. I'm not going to do that. Petal Storm Concentration Spell on the Field could be nice. Uh, we already have Flaming Sphere. It's an option if I can't use that for fire damage. It does have a good radius. Hold Person could be huge, though. Essentially, it allows us to take somebody out of a fight if it's a humanoid, which is obviously definitely great. Um, I am going to take uh, Magical Darkness, because I want to test something. I definitely want to test something uh, when we get the chance. Um... Because if I cast Magical Darkness, can I send my rogue in there and automatically basically get a free uh, hide action? Because the enemy can't see me inside of the Magical Darkness. I'm hidden, right? Obviously, certain enemies in the game do have the ability to see in dark, uh, Magical Darkness, and spiders have blind sight. But... Um... Basically, dark vision doesn't allow you to see in magical darkness. It needs to be a specific ability or part of a creature's uh, stat block to be able to see into the magical darkness. Um, and that will allow me to play around with utility for my team, of course. We did it! We brought back proof! Yeah. How do you feel? Better. Maybe that sickness was nothing. What about the crown? You know the council will probably take it. No. We can't hide the no, fact that we found it with the Sorax. It's our loot. Ours. We have to declare anything of historical value. And they have the right to buy it. And if it's priceless? Come on, they can do whatever they want. Sure. I guess we'll see. We might want to remind them that they were wrong about the Sorax. Yeah, might want to, you know... Make sure we tell them. 